In this video, we will show you how to create a credit note or issue refund for an invoice. To issue a credit note, you'll first need to decide which type of credit note you want to issue. It can be a credit note applicable to a specific invoice or a general credit applicable to a customer's account. First, go to the Sales section and open Credit Notes. Then tap the plus icon on the top right of your screen. From there, choose the customer and the invoice that you want to create a credit note for. Then, you can either swipe left to add a credit for a specific item, or tap Add Custom Credit. The amount you enter will be deducted from the total amount on this. When you need to issue a general credit note for a customer, you also start from the Sales section and open Credit Notes. Then tap the plus icon on the top right of your screen. At this point, you'll need to choose a customer, but there's no need to add a specific invoice. Simply leave the field Invoice blank. Tap on Add Customer Account Credit and enter the amount you need and click Save. Later on, when a new invoice is created for that customer, the credit you assigned will automatically be applied. On both types of credit notes, you can also add notes. Any notes that you add in this section are for your reference only and will not show up on the credit note for your customer. You can also tap Add File to attach a photo or a document to your credit note. Then select the files you need from your device's library and tap Save. To issue a refund, go to the Sales section, select Refunds at the top, and tap the plus sign at the top right of your screen. Then, choose a customer and the invoice for which you want to issue a refund. Only invoices that are partially or fully paid can be refunded, so only those will be shown to you in this list. Then scroll about halfway through the invoice and click Add Custom Refund to enter the details. You'll need to add a description. This can be the reason for the refund and an amount for the refund. When you're asked which amount to refund, you have the option to indicate either an amount that includes taxes or that excludes taxes. This can be different depending on your local tax laws, so it's up to you to decide which option is the right one for you. Generally, Places where prices always include taxes would enter a refund in that area, but other places where prices are displayed pre-tax should enter the information in the excluding tax space. Click Save. Your refund will appear on the invoice. Once you've added all the refunds applicable, press Save at the bottom of the invoice. You'll be taken to your refunds list.